The United Nations has paid tribute to victims and survivors of the Holocaust at its annual observance of International Holocaust Remembrance Day. General Secretary Ban Ki-moon used the opportunity to call for vigilance against extremist acts of violence and hatred. On this International Day, let us remember all the innocent people who lost their lives during the Holocaust. And let us be inspired by those who had the courage to care, the ordinary people who took extraordinary steps to defend human dignity. The example is as relevant today as ever. In a world where extremist acts of violence and hatred capture the headlines on an almost a daily basis, we must remain ever vigilant. Let us all have the courage to care so we can build a safer, better world for today. As part of the ceremony, the UN Under Secretary for Communications asked survivors of the Holocaust to stand so that they could be honored. We are honored to have among us other survivors of the Holocaust, and I would like to in kindly uh, raise your hands or stand up so that we may acknowledge and honor you. Please. Israel's ambassador to the UN also spoke, saying that evil is often met with indifference and highlighting in particular Iran and Hamas for anti-Semitism and Holocaust denial. We live in a world filled with prejudice and violence, a world in which anti-Semitism is sponsored, taught and spread by governments, clerics and school teachers, a world where evil is too often met with indifference where hate is met with silence. Every year from this very podium, the Iranian president denies the Holocaust while threatening to carry out another one. Every day, Hamas teaches anti-Semitism to the next generation of children in Gaza, telling them that the Holocaust is, and I quote, a lie made up by Zionists. Similar messages echo across the Arab world. Our duty has never, never been clear. The hands of time threaten to cloud the world's memory. It is our responsibility to rescue the history and the lessons of the Holocaust, just as the men and women that we honored today rescued its victims. The memorial culminated in a performance of String Quartet No. 3 from Austrian Jewish composer Victor Ullmann, who died in Auschwitz on October 18, 1944.